What is a net force? The word that gives people the most trouble here is this word right here, net. When I think of net, I think of a term from economics called net profit. And I think it really helps to explain uh, what we're talking about here with force. Imagine you had a lemonade stand and you sold lemonade and you made $20. You took in $20 from selling that lemonade. Does that mean that you made $20 worth of profit? No, because you had to buy supplies. You had to buy sugar and cups and lemons. And let's say that those, those supplies all cost you $10. So what was your net profit? Net meaning overall profit. If we subtract everything from all the pluses, um, how much money did you actually make? So you had $20 that you took in, but you spent $10 of that. So your net profit when all was done, you made $10, all right? Same exact concept here, except instead of money, we're going to be talking about force. All right, let's take a look at the most simple net force problem we can have. Here we have 10 newtons of force pushing to the right. There's no force on the opposite side, so we could say that that's zero newtons of force. So, pretty obvious, the 10 newtons is going to win. The math that I would show... I have 10 newtons, there's nothing on the opposite side, so my net force is 10 newtons. All right? And then whenever I say the net force, I want to tell the direction, it's 10 newtons to the right. So the rules when we're talking about net force, whenever you write the net force, you have to tell them the amount of the force, which is sometimes called the magnitude in science, and you have to tell the direction, which is what we did right here, 10 newtons to the right. Now, is that force balanced? Well, the rule is, if a net force is zero, then it's balanced. If a net force is not zero, then it's not balanced. This net force is 10, has a magnitude of 10, that is not zero. So we would say this is an unbalanced force, because it is not zero. Let's look at this example. Here we add a force moving against the, the original force that we had. Now think about that. They're working opposite each other. If we had a wagon and two people were pushing in opposite directions, they would be fighting against one another. So how would we show that work? Right? There would be a subtraction when they're working in opposite directions. So here the math that we would show is 10 newtons minus 10 newtons gives us a net force of zero newtons. The net force is zero newtons. Now, is that a balanced or an unbalanced force? Well, the net force is zero, so we would say this is balanced. In this example, they're both pushing in the same direction. They're helping each other. They're cooperating. If two people were pushing on that wagon in the same direction, you would add their work together. It would be getting easier. So the math we would show is 10 newtons plus 10 newtons gives me 20 newtons. So the net force is 20 newtons to the right. And that balanced or is that unbalanced? Well, it's not zero, so that is an unbalanced force. Right. Here we kind of added both of those together. All right. So we can see that we have two forces pushing to the right and one force pushing to the left. Okay. So we know that those two pushing to the right are going to be working together and the one pushing to the left is going to be opposite. It's going to be subtracted. So we could write it like this. We could say 10 newtons plus 10 newtons, which would give us 20. But then we have to take away, subtract the 10 newtons over here. Gives us an overall net force of 10 newtons to the right. And this is also unbalanced because it's not zero. What if they were not all pushing? What if one was pulling? Would that change anything? If you had two people pushing on a wagon and a third person who was pulling on that wagon, right? 
we would still add all of those together because again they're all moving in the same direction so what, what would be the work that I would show I would show 10 newtons plus 10 newtons plus 10 newtons the magnitude or the amount of the force would be 30 newtons but when we write it down we have to say it's 30 newtons to the right we have to give that direction and again this is an unbalanced force now we added some forces moving in opposite directions now what do we notice about the forces going up and down they're the same right so if we wanted to we know that we would say 5 newtons minus 5 newtons is 0 newtons we deal with those forces separately up and down we deal with those separately left and right we deal with those separately in this case these kind of cancel out right there the forces up and down are balanced now I'm gonna give you a hint in eighth grade they're always gonna be balanced in one direction when you get into high school and you start taking physics you may end up with a situation where there's some forces that are up and down some forces that are left and right and they're not balanced you need trigonometry to solve those problems and you don't have that yet so they're never gonna give you a problem where they're um, unbalanced in both directions now we've gotten rid of those five newtons of force it's pretty easy for us to see what is there it's just like another problem that we already had before so we have two going to the right that are working together one going to the left that's opposite so 10 newtons plus 10 newtons minus 10 newtons right you have these two right here that are pluses and this one over here that's a minus and you end up with a magnitude of 10 newtons and we always tell the direction to the right let's look at a real world example that you might see on a test here you have a truck that's driving down the road and those wheels as they're turning are pushing the truck down the road with a hundred newtons of force and as it goes down the road let's say it's a windy day and there's a 10 newton extra push from the wind now as that for, as a truck going down the road it's going to be running into air particles it's going to get air resistance as those particles hit the window and that's friction so there's 70 newtons moving opposite right that's for that's working against uh, the truck driving down the road now there's a gravity there's 70 newtons pushing down but it's pushing down on the road the truck is sitting on the road and the road is pushing back up with 70 newtons down here so what is the overall net force acting on this truck okay so let's deal with the up and down first because I think we can see how that's gonna work out we have 70 pushing down and we have 70 pushing up so we could say that those forces are balanced we know that 70 minus 70 is zero so these forces are balanced so we can just deal with the left and the right all right so pushing to the left we have a hundred and we have ten and pushing to the right we have seventy so I could kind of summarize that this is a hundred and ten going this way and seventy going the opposite direction okay say so 110 minus 70 newtons is 40 newtons now why did I choose to put the 110 on top right because it's just easier for me to do the math that way right I could have done it the opposite way but the thing that's important is 110 minus 70 is 40 newtons now what is the direction of this force right well who's winning between this uh, 110 right here and the 70 over here well the 110 is gonna win so when we report the net force we're gonna say it's 40 newtons to the left and is that force balanced okay, it's not zero so it is an unbalanced force In summary, a net force 
is the overall force acting on an object. When we've added and subtracted all of the forces that are acting on it so that we can get it down to just one, one number and direction. A net force is always written with a magnitude, which is that number, and the direction, so we know which way that net force is going. A net force of zero, we call that balanced. A net force that is not zero, we say is not balanced. When forces are pushing in the same direction, you add the numbers. They're cooperating, they're working together. When forces are pushing in opposite direction, you subtract those numbers because they're not working together.